in the first formal introduction to Cheryl and Phillips, three little black and silvers. They're crawling into a big pile like roly-poly fat sausages. Yes. There's Penguin. Penguin and Panda there. There's Zebra. You guys are starting to try and get up on your feet. I see that. Instead of just crawling around, you're doing so well. And may we introduce Cheryl E. Phillips Zebra. Little boy. Now currently he's identified with the tweed collar, but we may end up changing that to gray because I can't find some more tweed. We're not going out to the store right now because of COVID. There's your little face with your eyes open. Say hello to the world. They're black and silver, so solid black body coats with white highlights, silver highlights. You can see those eyebrows coming in and beard and the white on your legs. Such a handsome boy. Say okay. Bye bye. And may we introduce Penguin. Penguin is for a female from Cheryl and Philip. She's identified with the pale pink collar. Lots of white highlights coming in. Solid black body coat, of course. Tails and dews have been done on everybody. Yes, we see those beautiful eyes. Yeah, not directly at the camera. No, such a pretty girl. There you go, good job. Okay, Penguin says, bye-bye. And may we introduce Panda. She's identified with the white collar. She's the third black and silver puppy and the final black and silver puppy to introduce from Cheryl and Philip. Again, solid black body coat. Lots of highlights coming in. We see that little face. We see both sides. Gorgeous, yes. Lots of white coming in. Pretty girl. You're doing a good job looking at the camera. Very good, Panda. Very good. She says, I'm a little bit sleepy, Tracy. And my tummy is full of milk. Okay, we're going to have a little nap. Bye. Where you going, Panda? I'm going to try and crawl on frills. Good job, Panda. And may we introduce Laura and her creatures. You guys wiggling all over the place. Mama doing a good job. Crawling around. Monkey with the tan, and lion snoozing. There's a little tiger. So you got frog and raccoon over here that you're working on. Beautiful Laura with your creatures. We're going to introduce each of them individually, and of course they're all boys. So we're going to do the salt and peppers first, followed by the black and silvers. And they're all doing very well. Eyes are open, two weeks old. Everybody's progressing along. Hungry puppies, eh, Laura? Lots of work for Mama.
And they reintroduced Lion. What a good look to the camera. Show everybody I have my eyes open. Yes, Lion is dark salt and pepper. You can hardly tell. There's a little lightning on the side, but he is salt and pepper. He's identified with the red collar. And right now he's the smallest little one of Laura's, but that could change. He said, once I taste solid food, it could all change. Aren't you handsome? Yes. Good boy. Bye bye And may we introduce Monkey. He's identified with the tan collar. He too is salt and pepper, but a very dark salt and pepper again. I can have to look to see that the lighter shading on the side. You can see it behind the ears. Say hello world. I'm Monkey for now. And we all have our eyes open. We're learning and discovering all things about the world around us. So much to learn. Okay, say, we'll get some more of my brothers. Monkey says, boy. <laughs> and may we introduce Frog. Frog 2 is salt and pepper. He's identified by the moss green collar. He's got a few strings hanging. Yes, yeah, say hello. I am Mr. Frog. Yes, and he's probably the lightest salt and pepper in the group, but he's not what I call light. He's sort of a medium. Yes, and we see that little face. Say hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Frog for now. Handsome boy. Yes. Okay, he says bye-bye. And now, may we introduce Tiger. He's identified by the pale blue collar. And he is black and silver, so his body coat is all black, but he'll have lightning on the face and the eyes, as you can see that coming in. Say hello, everybody. Oh, what do you smell? Hmm, what's that? Hey, everybody's got their eyes open. Yes. Oh, he says, I'm learning to smell scents, too. What is that? Do I smell milk? Oh boy, oh, you're going to be a scent dog, you're going to be a scent dog, yes, you like to work that nose, okay, bye bye And may we introduce Raccoon, he's identified by the royal blue collar, and he is black and silver, and he said, I am the biggest puppy of Laura's right now, but that could change. But I'm substantial, he says. You can see his nice white markings coming through. And that beautiful face, looking at the camera pretty good and squirming. Where are you going? He said, well, can I get going, Tracy? You're learning to get up on your feet a little bit, learning to walk. Yes, you are. Such a good boy. You're doing so well looking at the camera. Yes, you are. Okay, bye-bye. And Laura and Philip's creatures. Some are crawling around. Some are snoozing. Yeah. Oh, to be a puppy at Silver Castle. So that's Lion in front. And then I believe it's Frog. No, it's Tiger. And then frog. What are you doing, raccoon? 
I'm coming to join you, Twaysy. Good job. And that's Monkey snoozing. We'll see if Raccoon wakes up Monkey. Yep. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Monkey, did Raccoon wake you up? And lions, slithering in between, tiger and frog. Now everybody's going to sleep. Okay. Bye for now.